Custom Properties and HubSpot let you track specific information about prospects, customers, your business and organization and processes that might not be built into the native properties that HubSpot already has. So in your portal, it's very easy to make a custom property. The first thing you're going to do is pick a group, and this is just a way to kind of categorize it, keep your CRM clean. Then we're going to label our property here, and I'm going to call this a consulting candidate. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to pick, if I want to add a description, I can, but then I'm going to pick what is the field type. So what type of property am I making? Is this just a single line of text, which can be useful if I want to enter a description, but it can also lead to a lot of different pieces of information being captured if you don't have a consistent way of entering that. You can also use a checkbox. So in this case, I would just say, yes, this person is a consulting candidate or no, they are not. Another thing we can do is a drop down. So maybe I want to give this some categories like warm, cold, converted. This way I could include a little bit more information, but you can see depending on what information you want to capture, there's probably a good reason to use one of the different field types in here. There's also a date picker. If I wanted to include, you know, when did this person become a consulting candidate? There are numbers. We can make calculations and scores, which we have other videos about, which are good to check out as well. You can also include a file upload or a HubSpot user, and that's going to just let you assign like who's the owner of this contact. And then finally, a rich text is kind of a new dynamic field here where we can include, um, you know, a little bit more of a, a designed out component um, or what that, you know, if we're going to insert this into different places, it's pretty useful to have as well. So the final step then, I'm just going to leave this as a checkbox, is to decide, am I going to include this in my forms? Um, it's usually a good idea. Sometimes you don't want this visible just to make it a little bit simpler on the form side. But most of the time, this is information we're going to want to be able to capture from our, our converting visitors. And finally, I hit create, and that is it. Thanks so much for watching. Please reach out with any questions.